Welcome to another all new Whiskey Talks with Trenny and C. Uh, today's topic is what is a catch in the NFL? <laughs> Sorry. That might be one. We don't really know. That's <laughs> not these days. That's the issue at, at the heart of our discussion today. Please pour us a whiskey. I will. Is the fact that it seems like it's overwhelmingly difficult to determine what is a catch in the NFL these days. Um, we're heading into the playoffs here, round yep. one of the playoffs, and um, sadly, most people aren't really sure anymore what a catch is. I understand. I mean, there's been some games, we've been watching the games quite regularly, and there's, ev like, lately, almost every single game, there's a catch that, that could have been a game changer. Yeah. And it either, and it, it gets ruled against what the ruling on the field is. And it's not only that, it's like the feeling is that in every game you watch a replay, yeah. right? A challenged play. Yeah. And you're like, I think it's this, but I don't really know. Like, if we're all watching the same replay, shouldn't we all be coming to the same consensus? Shouldn't we all be going, oh, that's, that's definitely I a mean, catch. Okay, there's things here, though. There's biases. Because yeah. some people like it's are going to, it's right? your team and you know, you have to have caught it because yeah. it's your team and blah, blah, blah. But the reality is that a catch should be a catch, should be a catch. Yeah. It should be the same rules for everyone. Yeah. Um, and I, I do want to say something up front that I think that the NFL referees do an amazing job. <laughs> totally. The, what they actually do see on the field and then the instant replays for them to have seen that is incredible. But and they know so many rules. It's like there are things happening <coughs> in games that the announcers don't know what's going on, the fans don't know what's going on, even sometimes the players on the field don't know what's going on, but the refs know exactly what to do yeah. and they do it with the clock running in yeah. crucial situations at the end of the game. And like that. Like Split that. seconds. Yeah. And they've made the decision and in inevitably it's almost always the right decision. Almost sure. always. Sure. I mean, you got to cut these guys some slack. Like, they're there on the spot. They have to either know to stop the clock or keep it going. And, and not only that, but they, like, it's not like they're like, ah, hold on, let me think of what my decision is. Yeah, they don't have it's, time for that. It's like either touchdown or yeah. whatever. So, um, fair, fair. So, point. I don't think that the problem is the refs. I think the problem is either the rules or the replay. Right. Now, we have done the research. We do have the 2017 official playing rules of the National Football League, and you have to flip straight to, excuse me, yeah, page 31. I've highlighted it there. This is page 31. Article 3, completed or intercepted pass. You got to get in there. You got to dig a little deep. There's quite a few sections, you know, subsections. You know, you got to do a little bit more digging. You know, there's there's simultaneous catch, you know, ball touching the ground, carried out of bounds, you know, there's quite a few things in there. Right. And, you know, when you, when you look at the CFL, yeah, the Canadian Football League, one sheet of paper, one sheet of paper on, <laughs> on passing, it says rule six passing, this is for the CFL, article five, completed forward pass. It says a pass is completed under the following conditions. Did he catch the ball? If yes, it's a catch, eh? If no, it's not a fucking catch, bud. I mean, it says it right there. I mean, the rules are so clear in the it's CFL. So clear. But it's so easy. I mean, I mean, a catch is a catch. It's a catch. We're simple. Or it's not. We're simple people we're here simple in Canada. Fun. I mean, it's simple fun. <laughs> just, we just need rules like that. Hey, cheers to oh, that. Oh, cheers these. We're drinking Seahawks whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just show the bottle real quick just because you guys man. are probably here for whiskey more than us. <laughs> but... It's the 12th man, Seahawks whiskey. We're not saying we're Seahawks fans. We aren't Seahawks fans. But, you know, we At found they it. Have a whiskey. We lived close enough to Seattle that it was kind of like the one that caught our eye. So, Anyways. back to the, the problem at hand. I mean, if you go back, I think it was the 2014 playoffs. Not so good. Uh, if you go back to the 2014 playoffs, Des Bryant, wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys, appeared to make... A game-winning catch. Yeah. And then he stretched for the touchdown. Yeah. Yay, touchdown. We're going to win. Yeah, yeah. Um, or at least oh, one in the playoffs. No. You caught it, and then when you stretched, there was a the little... Oh. 
Incomplete that, pass. That, that's getting a little ridiculous. Wait, that was 2014. Okay. Fast forward. That was playoff. That was end of your season. Your season's yeah. over. End of the game. We win. No, we lose. Mm. Fast forward, uh, I think it was either 2015 or 2016, Odell Beckham of the Giants yeah. against the Patriots. Makes he, that guy catches one-handers oh, all the can, time. He awesome. Can, yeah. um, he makes a catch, basically <clears throat> game-changing catch against the Patriots. Nope. No? Nope. No? No, he didn't. No? No, everyone thought he did. We're, we're sure he did. No, he didn't. No. Fast forward to week 15 this year. Yep. Jesse James of the Pittsburgh Steelers, again against the Patriots. Hmm. He makes the catch. Reaches forward for the end zone. Little bobble bobble Okay. Oh, call the touchdown on the field. Right. Go to the review. Hmm. Not a touchdown, but we don't have people. The key is that we don't this, have people feeling the same way. Yep, yeah, I've got one more. Okay. Then very next week against the Patriots, Calvin Benjamin of the Buffalo Bills yeah. makes at halftime, right before halftime, a game-changing touchdown catch. Turning point. Where they say, well, his toe, the pellets on the ground... Kicked up, but then was there was it a catch first? And you know what? We're gonna say incomplete pass. Yeah. So the whole end of the game ends up changing because at halftime you think you've got a lead, you're gonna win, and you don't. Okay, so hold on a second. I All just right. want to focus in on one of the uh, catches we previously the talked catches about. It, uh, the not catches. The, you mean? the not catches. Okay. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers game with Jesse James there. Yeah. Okay. What happened from my amateur eyes? Right. He caught the ball. Mm -hmm. He pulled it in mm -hmm. and then stretched out. So that is a conscious decision to go catch the ball, pull it in, stretch out. And then, yes, he, his knee was down before mm -hmm. the line, but he was not touched. The, and then he get across the line and it's like, like that. Is that, that not a catch? Like, ah. Oh. And that's the interesting thing is that it says that, I think the rule says that you have to, when going to the ground, you have to survive the initial <clears throat> contact with the, he must maintain control of the ball until after his initial contact with the ground. Okay. So here's my, my Until after question. his initial contact. So here's my, my, uh, thing. Yeah. That was a that was the last like five seconds of the game. Yeah, basically. It, basically. it would have won the Pittsburgh Steelers <coughs> the game. Basically, yeah. And it was called on the field as a touchdown. Yeah. It's so yes. in order to yes. to reverse get, it. reverse yeah. on the field, it has to be some very irrefutable definitive. scientific definitive data. Yeah. And I don't think you see that in a lot of these catches. And that was the problem with the Calvin Benjamin catch the next week. Yeah. Also <laughs> dragged the toe Called a catch on the field, and then they went to like New York, you know, where the replay people are or whatever, and they're they're looking at it and they're like, well, I you know I don't know. Well, if you have to go, well, I don't. Then it to leave it alone, yeah. leave a fucking thing alone. And that's the thing. It's like, should there even be replay? Well, at this point, it's getting ridiculous because it's a split hair of a second. If you don't going, know bleh, 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 right bleh. away. Then just fucking leave it alone. Yeah. Like, let's not overdo it. I gotta say, with the Seahawks whiskey right now, <clears throat> the defense is playing quite well, but other than that, it's quite offensive. Ah. <laughs> I see you're doing that. Sorry, it's just not very good. Uh, <laughs> it's just not good whiskey. Mm. Um, but yeah, back to the... the really, you know, really kind of grossly. The matter at hand. Yeah. Um, the other issue that comes up quite a bit is the... <clears throat> when somebody becomes a runner, it's like... You have to make a football move, whatever that is. It's like, a catch it, move. and then make a football move. That's also my dance moves. But right. you have to make a football move. But what you see a lot of times is a guy catches it, he's got it for a second, and somebody goes, Whoop! and rips it away, yeah. and they say, incomplete pass. Right. Well, even Larry Fitzgerald himself, famed wide receiver of the Arizona Cardinals, says, yeah. just make that a fumble. You catch it, if you had it, yeah, you had it. 
and it's popped out. It's a it's bubble. bubble. Make it exciting. The big issue is overturning exciting game winning Absolutely. catches. Yeah, that's like huge. let's not take the excitement out and let the referees determine the game or instant replay. That's let be that's become a foe. The the thing you know, about it's great in a lot of ways. Yeah. Especially if you're biased to a team and it works in your benefit, but at the same time, it's not reality. Well, like what your eyes see what your eyes see. One of the things that they've done recently mm-hmm. was that they changed it so that every touchdown is reviewed automatically without a challenge flag. Right. Every touchdown is reviewed and every turnover is reviewed. Yeah, that's cool. So you don't but... have to throw a challenge. But is it cool? Because it's like it's like okay, that's great. We ran out of challenges and now we can get our touchdown overturned. But it's like every fucking play. Is yeah. reviewed. Every which, important play is reviewed. Like which I gotta say, here's my beef with uh, watching football: is there's so much time wasted. Yeah. As the viewer, just sitting there waiting for them to determine what actually yeah. happened, and <laughs> and then when that happens, they go to commercial. Right. And those commercials aren't like when you're watching hockey, NHL hockey, where it's like one commercial and it comes back. Yeah. It's a whole series of three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah. And then they do the kickoff. Yeah. And then it goes to commercial. Yeah. And, and then a punt return. A it, it's just it's just getting a little out of hand. I know that's not what we're talking about here, but it kind of goes along with the culture yeah, of it's just the things kind of going in maybe the wrong direction. And you know what? Like uh, my last point I'm going to make is like look at what replay has done for baseball. Nothing. It's <laughs> slowed down an already slow game. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't I don't have the answer here. We're looking for the answers in the comments. Our point is just to bring this up and to say, like, something's wrong. We got to fix it. It shouldn't be that complicated. You shouldn't have a different opinion than me, who has a different opinion from the referee and the people on the field. Like, we should all... Let's keep it fucking simple. Yeah. Let's it, keep it simple. It's fucking catch, bud. See, pal. It's a catch, bud. That's all it is. Anyway, we're trendy and see. Talk about dumb stuff. Yeah. But, hey, we got the best whiskey channel on the internet, so... Easily. We, we're told that, like... Constantly. At least... 55% of the time. It's going to our heads. Yeah, it's going to our heads. So right click here. subscribe. Let it go to Cheers. your head. Join the team. Join the plaid clan. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> they all lived. They all lived. <laughs>